Why? In my earlier video today, I uh, showed you how I go through coin roll hunting. And I went through a box of pennies, finished up, and I got my glove on because I don't want to touch this. This is the first penny I found in here. Well, not the first penny, the first, first week, I think, it was the first one that I held out. I don't like the sculpt, how it, how it doesn't really show. Look at that, I mean, this thing, oh my God, I didn't even notice that. I only looked at it with my eye. Look at that. I guess I can take my glove off, can I? But that's what I found for the best wheat. <laughs> Really not the best now, is it? Isn't that a shame? Find something like that. But this is what I got in this box. I figured I'd do a video. Well, look at that. I got powder like that now. <laughs> 1952 Philadelphia. I haven't looked at any of them for replenishment marks or double dyes or cud mark cuds or anything else. 47 D that hit the ring of death, which means at one time it was probably an ender. Is that a? No, I don't think so. Okay, 1952 again. Don't see nothing in particular about any of these. Uh, I pulled out 56 in Denver. Pretty good shape. Still got some luster to it. To my eye it does, maybe not to the scope. 56 Denver. I got another box sitting here. I don't know if I'm going to go through it tonight or <clears throat> tomorrow. 44, and you're always going to find these. I don't think all the 44s will ever be on a circulation. There's too many of them made. 46. Another one I find an awful lot of. I think it was 18 counting that 58. 1945. There was 18 in this box, which is four over my my average. <coughs> Excuse me. This has got some mustard to it also. 45. Looks like quite a bit of mustard. And some big, dark, garbagey stuff right there. 54D. This warehouse is cold. Pretty decent shape on a lot of these. The ears are pretty separated. 38D. I could have bought myself a new skull for Christmas, but I didn't. 42 Denver. Eighteen wheat pennies. There's a 42 Philly. I'm probably going to throw this back. Yeah, I'm going to throw it back in the circulation. Let somebody else find it and be happy. 56 Denver, or 56 Philly. It's very decent shape, though, you know. It's 53 Denver. Is that rotated? Or did I rotate it when I turned it? That, that is rotated a little bit, I can believe. 
Well, maybe not. No. Just my fingers. Not flipping evenly. Another 42 Denver. Look at that W. Way, I mean, the W is higher anyhow, but it's way up there. <laughs> Sixth row, I found something nice. I showed it in the previous video. 46 Philadelphia. Coin digging is live. <clears throat> Oldest one. Looks horrible. 1910. All beat up, worn up. Really tired. But, uh, found this one. First year, Canadian, small cent. First time I found a King George V in, geez, probably, probably close to a year. I find a lot of King George VI, but no V. Not in that great a shape, but it's a nice coin. Something else is maybe I wanted to show you. Oh, well. I got a stack of maybe, I'd say 95, uh, 98 or 2000s to check. The lambs, um, Canadians, I ended up today with not as many as normal 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, well. 32, 32 Canadians, mostly 50s, 60s, and a, a few later ones. Maybe uh, 70, 75, uh, 72s and 95s, check for double dies. 88 transitional, I'll check them. There's about uh, 50 as well, 55 I would say. And that's it. I don't think there's anything hiding here that I forgot. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Are we ever, anybody in the network, in the community, anybody ever going to find that to be a small eight, a small bait, and from Denver, and copper? Probably not, huh? I've got maybe 35 or so, 82 small, or large day coppers that I just keep. I don't know why, put them in a roll, somebody will want them someday. That's it guys, please like, subscribe, share, talk about, whatever you want to do. And I will see you maybe tomorrow if I open this other box and go through it and see what I find. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.